Hey guys, Purple Mugboy here, and finally the time has come. I'm transitioning from my second bullet journal to my third bullet journal. I am transitioning from one Loistrom 1917 to another, so basically the brand is the same. Uh, there are some differences between the my second bullet journal and my third bullet journal because this is the limited edition uh, metallics collection which is this is a copper one and this is like a normal version with a normal color which actually has some differences but basically they're not really that big in this video i will be talking about like what uh what worked for me in my previous video like what i uh, in my previous bullet journal what i set up there and what i what worked and what i wanted to change uh, and what I wanted to keep uh, and generally like what I did, why I did it. Let's get to it. So like I said, my next bullet journal is also going to be the Lowstrom 1917 notebook. Um, this time it's, it's in this beautiful color, uh, port red, which basically is like my favorite out of all of their Lowstroms except for copper. So I got it for myself and I'm so happy. Uh, so there are some differences I wanted to say at the beginning between like the, the metallics version and the normal version, uh, which for example, I noticed that, uh, with the dot, there is one line of dots less, uh, on the side and on the, and at the top of the page, uh, and it's basically with all of these. So it's kind of. It's kind of annoying like I, I wish there would be there was this one more row of uh, row of dots on each side but 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 it's not that big of a difference and except for that it's generally the same like there are two bookmarks like in just like in metallics version uh, however I just wanted also to say that I had this problem with all of my Lois terms basically because I had, which is my previous one, and I also bought two up to up until now for gifts for my mom and for my brother's girlfriend, and I basically had the same problem. So uh, with the pocket, I just couldn't fit my stickers in it. It was basically like the top, the top was just too narrow like the pocket was too narrow I couldn't fit it so I would have to like push with my ruler a bit up there on, uh, off, under the under tape me under the tape yeah I would have to push it a bit with the ruler but now it fit it fit perfectly so I was wondering if it's that if that's the case with all loisters but apparently not so I'm just just wanted to say it and there's a standard elastic, it went under the notebook, but it's there. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the setup of my bullet journal. There is classic index. I actually thought that there will be three pages at least in like, no because that's what I heard that in normal uh, Lowstrom 1917, um, the index has three pages and not two. That's what I was kind of worried about when uh, when I got my copper because there were there were only two pages, but there are also only two pages here of index. So I don't know if that's just like my notebook. What what is I don't know if that's the thing with my notebook or is it just a normal thing? I don't know if you know something like you have if you had a bullet journal like a Lowstrom 1917 notebook where there were three pages of index. I would. I would be interested to know, like, if if you have it. Then we have the page, if you watch my bullet journal videos, if you've seen my setup of my previous bullet journal. At the beginning of my bullet journal, I usually write down, like, a quote that just speaks to me most. And just, um, so it kind of, like, sets the theme for, like, the next few months that I will be bullet journaling in it. Then we get the standard key, but you know, previously I kind of did the key as like more of a tradition kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, you just put the key. I was okay with my key. However, this time 
Uh, I had about like maybe six, six symbols in there. Mm. But this time I actually decided to put more symbols, uh, more bullets, because um, after reading the bullet journal method by Ryder Carroll, I know I will put out my review soon, I promise. But uh, when I read it, I really had this, like I finally started, started to understand the, the idea behind bullets, and so I was, I decided to put in the symbols that were actually kind of useless to me at the beginning or like I thought that they were useless at the time uh, so right now I have so I have nine uh, symbols in here um, so I, and I draw boxes I know I know that in the bullet journal system usually it's about doing dots and then just turning them into symbols but I just love ticking off uh, too much to give up on it so I have uh, basically like the task is either finished like done uh, not done uh, partially done like so like if I I explained it in one of my videos previously cross off like uh, if it's um, if it's not valid anymore so it's it's a distraction is what writer writer calls it so it's a distraction if it's a distraction I cross it off um, and then the circle is for like events and it can either be for, uh, planned events. So if it's something that I'm expecting or if it's something that just happened that day that was, that I want to put down in my, like write down in my bullet journal, uh, dash is for notes, mm, exclamation mark is for important. And then the, this like arrow to the right or like the symbol of if something is bigger than something is uh, uh is m migrated and then this like is uh scheduled and then i drew the key i wanted to do i didn't want to draw the lock which i did previously i just didn't have enough time so and i drew this like simple key to have something then it's my beautiful year at a glance and yeah i did a mistake i made i made a mistake my february is too long uh but i will fix it no problem but i just always have to make mistakes on my year at a glance i don't know what is up with it but i did but except for that i didn't make any major mistakes so yeah. and also uh, i used this beautiful beautiful brush pen by tombow which just is exact same color as my Eloise charm. It is the Tombow Dual Brush Pen in in color 757 uh, and the name of it is, you won't believe it, but it's Port Red. So basically it's the exact same color as my Eloise charm 1917. So I love it. Then we get to the future log, except I didn't call it future log. I put it like it's generally future log, but from February until May, it will be basically like my second semester, even though actually I finish school in April, um, I will have my exams in May. So it's basically like, I treat it as like part of the school year. Uh, so I called it second semester and I basically did uh, what I did in my previous bullet journal, which I just loved. I did it for first semester and for second semester. Uh, and uh, I loved it. I just loved it. It's kind of like a, a mix, a mix between a future log and semester at a glance. So, um, so I just put here uh, stuff that are just coming up. So basically, I had the same. I have the same key as in my previous bullet journal. So, blue is for like an essay. Pink is for test. Purple is for presentation. Green is for giving up, giving out like. A project. Um, uh, orange is for exam. Yellow is for a free day from school. Uh, this like light purple, like lilac type the color, uh, is for a holiday. But like it's a holiday, but it's not a free day from school. Like you, you get the idea. I hope and gray for like other events. And I actually just loved this semester glance. In my previous bullet journal, I used it 
I, I was flipping back to it every month, so or every week even. So I, I, I loved it. It worked perfect for me, uh, perfectly. And I have it for these four months. And then I have it basically for summer because it's, you know, uh, it's June, July, August, and September. Because that's basically summer for me. Because if I get to, if I'll be going to college, then school year will start on in October. So that's basically uh, the summer for me. Also, four months down the calendar. The calendars are pretty simple. I really prefer it that way. I don't have to like do too much, too many squares. And then I chose, you know, since I chose Lewis. Uh, at the beginning of my bullet journal, I just had to use the Tolkien quote because, because, hello, have you met me? And then that time of the month spread, I've been using it since my first bullet journal. I absolutely love it. It works for me great. Um, and so if you've seen my previous bullet, jour bullet journal, then you know what is up with it. And my key, it's basically the same. I love it. It, it's great then my birthday spread yeah i loved this spread it's the birthday spread so basically i wrote down like the the first letter of the month and it's for the whole year and i will be putting down like the date like the number of the day of the month that this person certain person has birthday and then just the name of the person because it's just better for me to track like when the people that are important to me have birthday. I just, I, I'm so forgetful. I, I just really want to have everything written down. Then we have my timetable. Yeah, it's basically the same as in my previous bullet journal. I love it. I know uh, I didn't, like, it's a very light pink, which is this uh, pink color. Oh, I actually don't really have the number anymore, but I think it's 700 and, but I think it's 760 maybe one or seven, one or seven, but it's this like baby pink and I didn't do uh, like the shadowing, but I want to do it. Then here, yeah, I actually notice now that I didn't write down here stuff, but uh, I, it was my, it is my debts and loans kind of spread, which I explained it in my previous bullet journal I did the same thing basically then the wish list wish list is very simple and I put it right next to the uh, packages spread and I absolutely love it it's been working also great um, so I have a column for the thing that I ordered the website that I ordered it from and two prices which is the price of the product without the ship without the shipping and then the price of shipping and then the date of arrival, which is just great for keeping track of what you ordered. Like I said, I'm just so forgetful and I want to keep track of all the packages. Then we get to the goals for 2019 spread, which I love. Uh, yeah, and even though I actually have like, I think 13, 13 goals for this year, it's more like, it's not, they're not resolutions. I try to not make them resolutions really I try to make them as goals so things that are really when you set your goals for the year it's really great to be just as specific as you can possibly be so for example I have my and I put it into categories so for example I have my education so I put actually on my list uh, that I want to go to college like be accepted into college but I don't really, I can't really influence if I, like, I can't really tell whether I will be accepted into college or not, because it just still depends on what type of other students are, and, you know, because if you're not good enough, and there are just other people that are better, then you will not get into college, but you can influence, for example, your results on your SAT or something, or in my case, my Matora exam, which is the final exam at the end of high school uh, in Poland. So I can influence that. I cannot influence whether I will get accepted into college. I hope you get the idea. Then like outside, so I want to pierce my ears and 
uh, I didn't, it, it was my goal for last year, but I finally didn't do it. So I want to do it this year. Um, and for example, like, um, dye my, the ends of my hair, uh, purple. I want to do it this month, uh, this year. And so, so I did it. So you, I hope you get the idea. You can measure your, uh, results. So did I pierce it? Yes or no. It's either yes or no. It's not like you can, you know, say, oh, maybe, or, uh, I think that I did my best on the competition. The same thing. I think that I did good in my opinion. So I can probably just take it off. Uh, general. So learn. These are like the general, these are less specific like these two, because you know, this one, like read 30 books, it's concrete, it's measurable. So it's fine read 30 books by the end of the year, uh, but like be assertive and learn how to, uh, how to manage your budgeting, how to do budgeting. Uh, it's not really measurable, measurable, but I think like, it's like, I can feel it that yeah, I'm assertive. Yes. I know how to manage my money. Yeah. And I also wrote down like the word of the year, which I wrote, I can, I know that I can is two words in English. And in Polish, it's one word. So, you know, it's I can. Then we get to books. Uh, I didn't finish the spread. Like, again, I didn't have time. But I will do it. And same idea, you know, just write down the titles of books that I want to read. And since my goal is to read 30 books, I will be writing them down, writing them down pretty often. Uh, because, you know, I just used to be such a bookworm when I was up until I was like maybe 15. And then I just stopped because I was, I'm just, I'm just busy. So, you know, it's, it's really a problem to me, for me to read a lot. So I want to kind of like get back to it, you know, here's the same thing that I did last year, which is last uh, in my last bird bullet journal, which is this kind of like mind map of my channel on YouTube, right? Which is purple magpie which like what I want to do, what are my goals, what I, what I want to achieve, what is my targeted audience and stuff like that. So like a general idea of my channel. So what I want to do with it, what I, because it's good to, you need to have like a direction that I want to go into because if you don't have a direct, a specific direction, then you, you're just going nowhere. So you need to know where you're going. So I like to have a general idea of what I'm doing, what, where I'm going and all that. And that's what it's for. Here are my ideas for my YouTube videos in general. And then the last spread is the uh, ideas for my bullet journal uh, spread and ideas for my nails spread because I love nail art. I don't do it as often anymore because I just don't have time. I used to do it way more often in middle school and the beginning of high school, but I still want to track it if I want to, like if I have an idea for nail art. So right now they're very simple too because, you know, I had prom and for prom you just kind of, you know, have to make it pretty simple. This is the way that I set up my second bullet journal. Uh, you still don't see the, uh, I will also be using my like pencil case. This is a gray pencil case that I have for my bullet journal. I haven't put it here yet because I still, um, was using uh, my previous bullet journal up until now because you know I wanted to keep it clean to not filled up with my personal information um, and so in my next video it will also be clean so I was still using my old one but I will it will also be on my bullet journal but essentially that is all that is there Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, then click that subscribe button and wait for my content. See you guys later. Bye.